Here we are at the Chang Tree Commercial Art District right outside of Bangkok on the outer layer of Bangkok. And here we have a fucking plane right in the middle. Dude, I shit you not. With a tubey fly going down. This used to be a real motherfucking plane. You can still see the wheels. You can see the motor. And I am underneath its wing. This is cool as shit. Apparently it lights up at night. And then you got like fucking sculptures. You got fucking art. And you got all these failed businesses that are not operating. Because it is Labor Day. And here you have Dido or Dildo playing fucking music. <laughs> So for many, many fucking years, Malaysia was missing a fucking flight because apparently like what? The fucking MH470 just vanished out of the thin air. Oh, and all of a sudden in 2018, a fucking plane appeared here right in the middle of fucking nowhere. Where the fuck do you think it would have went? <laughs> the Bangkok fucking government was like, okay, to improve our industry and tourism, we are just going to hijack this plane out of thin air. And to this day, you're telling me Malaysia Airlines never found Oh, they're turning on the lights. I always knew there was something fucking fishy in Stangelis about the fucking abduction. So the Thai government have been working with extraterrestrial forces just to make this thing fucking vanish from the thin air on its way to fucking Beijing. MH470, the Malaysian airline. Dude, this cannot be a fucking coincidence that it's here. <laughs> we are like, what? This is just one country up from Malaysia. And for fucking almost a decade, they've been looking for this fucking plane. Well, if you just looked into the extraterrestrials that are sitting here, it is no secret that it was a fucking, um, some sort of phantom fucking abduction. Look. And then you got this fucking extraterrestrial god here trying to fend off human beings from coming in and discovering the plane. Dude, I'm doing some fucking quality journalism shit, yo. Maybe CNN should hire me. <laughs> Fake news suck my dick. Okay. Weed is not legal, but we get these THC fucking shops all the time. So look, uh, things to do while you're high because you're drinking their THC ingredient drinks. Play music, watch movies, play video games, play hide and go seek, go for a walk, cook a meal, stargaze, eight, have a picnic, nine, have, have deep conversations, 10, have more cups, 11, go hijack and make a fucking airplane vanish off the thin fucking air and bring it over to Bangkok and make it seem like it's a tourist attraction at the expense of Malaysia Airlines. Entrepreneurial 101 with Tommy Yu. Tune in next time. Right in front of me is exactly what I'm looking for for my uh, <laughs> upcoming and failing YouTube channel. I need their services in production, media solution, marketing, live stream, branding. <laughs> so I go in one day, they're like, hey, what's your channel? And I give them my fucking channel. They're like, no, we charge you 2,500 baht. You too, you too shitty. You too shitty. We don't market you. We market you, bad market for our company. You don't market our company, we market you, we know business. 2,500 2, 2, bar. Okay, all right. All right, so this is the moment of truth. This is the marketing company I've been looking for my whole entire life to market my fucking YouTube and online persona. Look, going live, services and production, media solution, marketing, live streaming and branding. So I'm probably gonna walk in tomorrow and I already know what's gonna happen. They'll be like, oh, okay, what is your Instagram? What is your YouTube? And I'll give them my channel. They'll be like, that will be 25,000 bar for you. Your channel too shitty. Your video shitty. You want us market you? We lose our marketing for our company when we market you. You too shitty. 25,000 bar right now. Oh, okay, all right. Your personality too shitty. You too shitty like this elephant shit. We market your shitty company. We turn into elephant shit. It's like you might as well come here and take a shit with the elephant because you're all video too shitty. Okay, look, New York, Malaysian Airlines 470. I want to see you work with the Taliban, terrorist force, hijacking an airplane. Go, Allahu Akbar, 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 and tear up this motherfucker while respecting COVID 19 protocols. Dude, look at this. I wonder if this stray cat is gonna fucking hound on this poisonous looking caterpillar. Is this a caterpillar? What the fuck is this? It's not an earthworm. It's not a fucking earwig. I don't know what the fuck this thing is. Come on, instead of spreading your fucking rabies around like your puppy counterparts, come on, yo, get her. Get her. Make yourself useful. Wow. Thailand is a nation full of useless domesticated animals. That's why, as a Chinese, I vouch that we go cook them all. We don't like your rhinoceros! Your rhinoceros is too shitty! We don't like your marketing logo! Rhinoceros is too shitty! 
Welcome happiness, sadness not allowed. Tui Happy Land, yo, it's like the mushrooms kicking in during the summer of love back in fucking 1969. Remember that generation that failed to fucking west this day and age? Yeah, it's all thanks to that era. Yo, fuck you, Beatles. I'm glad John Lennon's dead. Oh shit, yo, yo, some Chinese guy, I can't believe you just said that on the end. Lo and behold, you got a studio right here. And I think these guys are actually doing a fucking talk show. <laughs> I don't know if they can see me. I can definitely see them. There's the TV. Okay. And then there's uh, the language I cannot understand. They're speaking Thai. And uh, do I see myself? Oh, I do see myself. Hello. Hi, mom. Oh, shit. I'm actually on their TV. <laughs> Get the fuck out of their talk show. <laughs> I saw myself on TV. Now I'm fucking famous all over Thailand. <laughs> now the public officials are like, Get him. Tommy Yee, banned from another country. It's funny because I'm talking about Malaysia Airline and everywhere you go you see imageries of death and skull. Look at this. <laughs> and my phone actually right now happens to be on airplane mode so that is an eerie coincidence. Look at this. Look at this. There's the yuan and then there's the fucking dollar and then there's the no entry. So you're telling me that fucking you're making profit off of death. Sounds about right. Yeah. As a ceremonial ritual to commemorate all the dead. Uh, off of the Malaysia airline as we can see here. I'm gonna talk about something serious. We are going to get high at We Happy Land. Yes, rest in peace. And after that, I'm gonna go on some fucking pronhub.com. That's why prom motherfucking hub. <laughs> Hack myself a bottle of fucking liquor and go stare at some naked prawns with subscription, of course. Gold edition. We say goodbye to this uh, abandoned air flight that I have found from uh, Malaysia Airline. As we say goodbye, I'd like to say uh, I'd like to do one more feature. This is Lady Propecious, as we can see. This is an artwork of an eight feet tall goddess, apparently. And uh, the artist of this goddess has made the sculpture to profess and demonstrate his love and admiration for his wife. So we got this woman with her legs open. And then when you go closer to it, someone has already butchered and at bastardized, literally bastardized the fucking wife. What the fuck is this? It's not a penis sticking out, it's a penis going in. <laughs> it's an inverted penis with the scrotum fucking coming out. Okay, here, let me touch it. Yo, dude, I realized something. The artist's wife's got a small dick. What the hell's going on? <laughs> Bye. Well then, I don't know how live this place is, but here I am bidding farewell to the Chang Tree Creative Park with the rabies infested fucking dog as its model, the monument in the front. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. You come to our creative park, your video shit, all your video shit, your Instagram shit, 25,000 baht, we no market you. Get out of our creative park, you no creative, you shit. Man, these sushi parlors at night markets, definitely the best. Look, 20 cents, 20 cents per something on the tray. You can fucking pick it out, you can eat it, or you can just dump the whole fucking tray inside of your mouth for like the equivalent of a dollar. Jesus. Yo, I'm gonna go Japanese. By the time I leave fucking Thailand as a Chinese person, I'm gonna be a new Japanese national.